Welcome back to my channel. It is AK Educator underscore curls here, also known as Nia. Um, and I'm glad to have you back here today. Um, if you don't already know me, my name is Nia. Um, I make a lot of videos around curl content and skin content content. Um, so if you haven't checked any of those out, go ahead and check them out. Surf around my channel and make sure you explore. Um, I hope you find something that um, you enjoy. All right. So let's get into today's video. All right, um, today I'm actually whipping out a an OG. And when I say an OG, I mean like this product has been around for so long. And I remember trying it when I first went natural and hating it. One, because it gave me this like slick, wet, oily cat look. Um, it was terrible the first time I used it. And I think one of the things that I've had to really learn about this product is how to use it. Um, and I think I have found the mastermind way for me uh, personally. And so I wanted to come on and share this with you guys because this is an OG product. It is a product that you can find in almost any store um, these days. And it's relatively low in cost um, in comparison to some of the gels that um, I know my followers really, really enjoy and some of the best gels on the market that happen to be a little bit more hefty in price. Um, so let's get into this all right so the product that i am talking about is dun, 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 dun. the shea moisture curling gel souffle from the coconut and hibiscus line and i know some of you are like reading this looking at this and cringing because y'all remember back in 2014 2013 2012 when this was being tried and people having horrific experiences with this gel. Um, and it's true. And part of that was because of how we were using it back then. Um, I'm actually not sure if they have changed any of the ingredients, but I will read you the first few. The first ingredient is glycerin, which does not bother me. So if you are glycerin sensitive, it is vegetable glycerin. Just be cognizant of that. It's glycerin, water, hydrolyzed cornstarch, um, shea butter, coconut oil, propendiol, I don't know what that is, hibiscus, um, some agave, some flaxseed oil, owl leaf juice, pectin, some great things. Most of the things that um, make this product great. Now, if you've seen this before, you know it's this like chunky jello type of thing. Let me tell y'all, okay? I I have I love this product and I now use it in every wash and go. And I want to be clear that I have been doing this for about two weeks now, trying it for about two weeks now. Last weekend I went to lunch um, with one of my friends and he was like, Nia, your hair looks good. And I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. He was like, it is shiny. It smells good. Um, and I was like... <laughs> guess what day it is? And he was like, what? And I was like, third day. He was like, no. I was like, yeah, l l let me help you out with why and how that came to be. Okay. So the way that I've been using this product in particular, um, is I don't use a lot. Um, I scoop just literally a dime size amount. Um, and I use it as a finisher to my wash and go. So today, for example, I use my Kinky Curly Not Today and my Kinky Curly Curling Custard as my base to my wash and go. I added a little bit of oil, my Camille Rose oil that I use all the time, the Cocoa Nibs, um, to seal that in. And then I took about a dime size amount of this product, worked it onto my right hand side or my right hand section, and then did the same thing to my left hand side section. Um, same dime size or another dime size amount and did that to the other section. And I use it as a finishing product. So it is the last thing to kind of trap the moisture, trap the hold, um, and trap everything into my hair. And that is how I have been loving it. It gives me really great shine. Um, obviously it smells like the coconut hibiscus line. So y'all know I love it because I love the smell of the coconut and hibiscus line. Um, it gives me great shine, great moisture. Because this has a lot of oils in it, it actually works as a sealant as well for my hair. So it has been 
I mean, just phenomenal. Like, and I have tried it with all my my top wash and goes. So y'all know the other wash and go that I really love is the Nature's Little Secret Irish Moss Styling Cream and my um, Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. That concoction, I used it on top of that. And that was actually the hair last weekend that my friend was like, Nia, your hair looks amazing. Um, <clears throat> it gave me like elongation. It gave me shine. Like, it was beautiful, y'all. Like, it was it was so pretty. Um, and if I find a picture, I'll pop them in at the end because um, I don't remember if I actually took a picture or not. But um, it, it turned out so, 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 so well. Um, so I tried it with that one. I also tried it with my Camille Rose concoction. Y'all know I love my Camille Rose um, Curl Love Moisture Milk and my Curl Maker. I did the moisture milk, the curl maker, and then a little bit of oil, and then this on top in the same way that I did it in the one today. It came out amazing. Like, same thing. I got three days out of my hair. Two, one to two days is actually normally like what I go anyway. Two days, not what I go anyway, but I got three days. It was popping, it was elongated, it was moisturized, it was shiny. Um, I went out yesterday and I was in the nail salon and I went and got my nails done and one of the nail techs was like, your hair is amazing. Like, how do you do that? And I was like, it's just how it grows out of my head. Um, but it like, that's how great it was. Lots of other races of people don't normally like comment on my hair, um, or like say that they really like it, but it was, it was an Asian woman who was like, your hair is beautiful. Like I want to do that to my hair. Um, and normally other races of people don't actually acknowledge, um, or ethnicities don't actually acknowledge, uh, curly hair as much, unless you are a, um, from a demographic that has curly hair, like naturally in your genetic pool. Um, so like South American women, I get a lot of comments from like Latinx women. Um, I get a lot of comments from, um, is here in Texas. Um, so it just kind of depends on that, but I don't typically get a lot of commentary, um, on my hair. And so that was like, Ooh, okay. Like we, yes, we love to see it. So, um, so yeah, so I've used it with my uncle funky's wash and go. I've used it with my Camille Rose wash and go. And now I'm using it with my Kiki curly one and you know, it does not disappoint. Like look at the definition. My hair is about 40% dry right now the definition is there the shine is amazing okay um it <laughs> baby it, it's just phenomenal so i have actually like made this a staple it will be my finisher product to every wash and go. Um, my Curly Magic, my Camille Rose, and my King Curly are the only ones I've been using as of late. I've run out of or used up the other ones that I had that were like gel and leave-in concoctions. And I just haven't repurchased them because these three are like the ones for me that just like always transcend season and all the... Things And in Texas, we are going into that feeling of fall where it's like cold in the morning, then warm in the afternoon, then the temperature redrops. So my hair is in that like weird transition anyway for the fall season. And so, yeah, I have been loving, loving those three wash and goes. So uh, my Nature's Little Secret uh, Irish Moss Styling Cream with my Curly Magic, my Curl Love Moisture Milk with my Curl Maker, and my King Curly Not Today with my King Curly Curling Custard. And then this bad boy and some of my cocoa nibs on the ends of it to just seal. It has just really been doing it, y'all. It has. Um, I've also tried this with twists. So earlier this week, I had this bomb twist out. And let me tell you what I did. I used my Myel Pomegranate and Honey um, Twisting Souffle. And then I used the mousse on top of that because y'all know I use um, a twisting cream and a mousse when I'm doing a twist out. And I used just a little bit of the gel souffle in the sections. Honey. The twists were so shiny. I took them out and they had so much like hold and body and wave. And I was like, oh, I could get used to this. And I did chunkier twists. So it came out so good. So I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm just going to use this in all the facets. <laughs> That's what I've decided. Um, it does not, for me, it doesn't work well by itself as a wash and go. And so I do need my stronger holding gels and this to just be like an extra oomph. Um, 
And yeah, I, I haven't tried this by itself to twist. I don't know that I would because I think like the mix of the moisture and the gel uh, together of like the cream and this is the perfect concoction for me. But I am gonna try it with my other creams like my Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus um, Curl Enhancing Smoothie and that mousse. I use that to twist sometimes. Sometimes I use my Camille Rose Almond Jai and their um, honey mousse together. Um, and then sometimes I use, I did use this with my Maui Moisture and that came out really, really, really good. My Maui Moisture Curl Smoothie and the Maui Moisture um, mousse that they have as well. So, you know, I, I typically like creams and mousses when I'm twisting, but this, this has been a great addition even to my twists and so, Y'all, I'm just loving it. I, I really am. Like, this product has surpassed my expectations. And so it has made it into my holy grail. I will 100% continue to use it. Um, and I will continue to use it as, like, my finishing product for both my twists and my wash and goes, which makes this a really great product because most of the time I don't use both for both types of styles. And so, um, yeah, I, I'm loving it. So if you have not tried it and, and you hated it 10, 20 years ago, um, I, I would come back to it. I'm like real curious to see how people feel about it. Cause when this came out and like, I want to say it was like 2010, 2011, um, people struggled to figure out what to do with this when Shea Moisture first dropped this. Um, and it was really, really difficult to work with, et cetera. But I think now they've gotten it right if they have changed the ingredients. And I think we just know more about like how to pair it and how to work with it. Um, and I, I love it. I love it. So, um, yeah, if you haven't tried it or if you've tried it more recently, been like Mia, you're right. Leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. Um, as always, if you're intrigued and want to know a little bit more about this product, comment to me. I'll definitely respond. Um, I totally, totally, totally have been like changed perspective on this product in particular. And so I really hope that your experience with it is also better. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, have a blessed weekend. Bye, guys.